king in it. Rule your own world. In Wales. Vlog episode six. We're going on a good, good long heritage coast and countryside adventure! So we're off to Adventures Wales. Uh, we're not sure what we're going to be doing yet, but it might be like uh, climbing or zip lining or surfing or something. Something really cool, a really cool activity. It's a beautiful day today, so let's get it going. Okay, so we just arrived, we met Nigel. We're going to go down to the beach for a surf. I am excited, but I've only ever surfed once. I'm not sure if I'm very good at it, but Nigel seems like a real nice guy, so hopefully he can teach me a thing or two. Okay, so we're going to get our wet suits. Hopefully they're going to be nice and thick. Oh, these are American sizes. They're size down. So even though that says a four, it's probably a six. I'm not a six. You've got to be very careful when you're mentioning ladies' sizes. I tell you, <laughs> I've learned to size them down because then you get you get the <laughs> nothing worse than sizing them up. Oh, you look like a twelve. How <laughs> dare you? Thank you very much. This is Blake. He's coming with us. This guy has got a YouTube channel. What's it called? Blake Jones. Blake Jones. We'll link it in the description. Okay. Good man. The Welshiest name ever, Blake Jones. No, no, these wetsuits aren't to protect you from the cold, they're to protect you from the fish. <laughs> what size feet are you, Craig? Seven. Nine and a half. Oh. <laughs> and look at the height of you, and look at the height of you. <laughs> I'm a ballerina. <laughs> okay, we've got our wetsuits, and we're going to follow Nigel and Blake down to the beach. It's bloody freezing today. So wish us luck. You excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Like I can't wait. I've only ever done it once, but I think I'm gonna be really good, like and join the Olympics and stuff. <laughs> finished with surfing it was really good I felt real comfortable because Nigel's a real good teacher he's literally the nicest guy I've ever met like <laughs> did I catch one yeah you stood up and everything okay I'm a professional but yeah super nice Blake's cool as well a little bit on the chilly side now so we're going back for some hot coffee so we're back at Adventures Wales they got everything here they got like a climbing wall they do paintballing quad biking they do it all yeah it's not too far from Cardiff either which is real good Make sure that when you have coffee, you must always come prepared and have digestive cheesecake and some blueberry cake. My favourite. So the next thing they want us to do is some zip lining. Now I've done it before. I was really good at it, but I did cry before I did it. Now this is a big challenge for me, but I'm gonna do it. Mum, you'll be proud. What do you think of zip lining? Piece of cake, innit? It's quite, it's quite high though. Are you going to be able to do it? Well, from the bottom it looks quite tame, but I think when I get up there I'm going to be like letting out a few fluffs. <laughs> <laughs> Name. 
Oh, right, kid? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Got that one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't trust this man. I, you know, I've never done that before, I must admit. How are you feeling? I, I feel so proud of myself. Like, I just did it on the first go, and it's not like me to do anything like that. But no, it's amazing. I feel like I'm flying. But I'm real shaky now. <laughs> I did it! One, two, three, gone. She's gone. She's amazing. <laughs> She's a new woman. <laughs> Remember what you were like in Zip Track? Amy was literally crying. <laughs> Cry, crying her eyes out. And this time. I'm a professional now, definitely. I'm proud of you, babe. You nailed I'm it. I'm proud of me too. Proper rush, though. Oh, really, really good fun. You should definitely do one of those every single day just to get your heart going. <laughs> Make you feel alive. Well, let's go get some food, shall we? Yeah, I'm starving. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Nigel. See you again. See you, mate. Bye. She feel like a new woman, yeah. Su actual superhero. <laughs> no, my legs are real shaky. I caught you smiling, you little proud smile to yourself. I am proud. Amy, don't do things like that. That was a top morning. That's one of the best mornings I've had in Wales. And I've lived here for 26 years. It was awesome. Nigel's a top guy. It's a really cool spot. And it's not far from anything, really. So stop sitting in your house watching Game of Thrones. Get up, get out, do something. Do a zip line. Make you feel like you're on top of the world. Oh, that's a nice dress. Stop shopping. Up to 50% off everything. Okay, we're in a cute little town called Cowbridge. Cowbridge is the cutest thing ever. They've got like those small little houses with the cobblestones and everything's real petite and lush. Yeah, it's cool little restaurants started about and bars and stuff. Yeah, some really good ones down here. Proper Welsh town. It's quite a posh one. So we're going to the Bear Hotel to get some scran. Because we've been sensational all day and now we're absolutely starving. This is my mate, Bear Grylls. He's not my mate. Mind, mind my fro. When I haven't got straighteners, it all just gets a bit. I'm gonna have the bear beef lasagna because it's gonna be all nice and warm and it'll warm me inside. Cheers. What are you gonna have off the menu? We've got a cheeky long glass of red. I'm gonna get a deep fried brie and I'm gonna get a sirloin steak. Nice. Yeah. You're such a girl when it comes to wine. What do you mean? Real men drink wine. I, I got cider, you got wine. I think we've mixed it up a bit. It's because I'm classy. <laughs> and I'm not. I'll have a pint please, love. Pint please, drive. <laughs> I didn't realise how posh it was in you. It's like a little, it's like a proper little cave. It's really nice. Looks good though. It does. I'm sure it's wonderful. It's deep fried free action. <laughs> It's underneath. <laughs> I thought it was like a weird colour. <laughs> Can you tell that we're posh and that we dine out a lot? <laughs> oh my god. Who'd have thought someone's liver could taste so good? We are done! That was such a lovely meal. It's warmed my insides, now I'm ready for a nap. I mean, I've eaten steaks everywhere in the world. And I've eaten probably a hundred peppercorn sauces, but the peppercorn sauce was literally the best one I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> it's a big statement, Craig. It is a big statement, but it's true. That was some top food. It's lovely. If you're gonna eat anywhere in South Wales, in the Vale, <laughs> you should go to the Bear Hotel, it was banging. Nigel was saying to us earlier, he was like, so you're vlogging all this, what happens if you don't like it? <laughs> and we were like, well, to be honest, like if we didn't like the thought of something, we just we, we wouldn't do it. So we don't actually give false reviews or bad reviews. And this is a genuine review. It was really good food, yeah. really good. So good, like such a good steak. Good wine. Now we got coffees to go. We can sip a bit. <laughs> so now we're going to go on to Port Kerry Park, and we're going to pick up Phoebe's and have a little adventure down there as well. Yeah, our little niece. She's lush. Look at this kid, always shopping. Stop shopping. Can we go in? No.
Sally and Phoebe. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Did you go in the puddle? Turn around, Phoebe, show us your bum. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, do you want to stay forever? Yeah. The only problem with Porth Kerry is that your children might not want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Phoebe? It's a tree! <laughs> We're all done in the muddy puddles. We're off home to wash our hands and then there's only one way to end today with an ice cream at Penarth Pier. We wanted to come down for the sunrise but we were a bit too late. So we can have a little night walk, but this is what it looks like in a day. It's a bit cold tonight so we're gonna get some chips instead of ice cream. Hot. How's the chips? Nice. What? What? So that's it. That's our Glamorgan adventure. That's where we live. The Vale of Glamorgan. Like an hour's radius and we've got one of the funnest days in Wales we've ever had. Yeah, but I don't think people realise how much it actually is to do in Wales. Like I never. But yeah, you can do some of the funnest stuff ever. So the motto of today is, all you have to do is get out of your house and do something and you get out loads of fun. <laughs> Even if you're just jumping in puddles. Yeah, I've had a really good day, really enjoyed myself. Chips are good. Happy days. Where yours, where yours? King of it. Rule your own world. world.